what's up guys, Darius here, back in our Minecraft video, and today we're on Minecraft Bedrock Edition showcasing a new version of the Naruto Craft Reboot mod by Mello. We did a video on this mod not too long ago, uh, but it was updated like yesterday, so yeah, sorry I haven't been uploading in a while, the mods were a bit dry recently. You can't keep getting away with it! Um, but... We have this one now, and I'm gonna start like uh, make it, expanding my modding videos to not just Naruto but animes in general. So they're gonna be like One Piece mods, JoJo's mods, other stuff like that. And it's usually gonna be mods of animes I've seen, cause if not, it doesn't make that much sense. But uh, yeah, we'll see. But you might be thinking, uh, where are you? We don't care. You. So, yeah, this is the experimental caves and cliff version of Minecraft Bedrock. And if I turn my night vision on right now, if I go potions, get some night vision, also get some milk. Uh, hey, bro. What? Oh my god! You can see these, th these, what, what was that? This is the new Caves and Cliffs update. As you can tell, tell, I am super excited for this version of Minecraft because just look at it. Look, look at the caves. I'm just gonna fly through here a bit without talking. Maybe put some a ambient or music around here. Uh, you'll just see. This this place is beautiful. So, yeah, this is Minecraft's new update, and it might be, just might be, as good as the Nether update, because as you know, that update was amazing. Also, I just found this place in a crack in the ground, and there's even an amethyst crystal right there. This is so cool. I, can't, I really can't wait for this update, but that's not what we're here for today. We're Today, we're here for... Um, I can't see my hotbar, wait a moment, there you go. Today we're here for the Naruto Craft mod, sorry for that thing, I was just uh, very happy that now in, because remember some videos ago, uh, I tried looking for ca the caves in the experimental ca game mode and they weren't added yet, but yeah, this is what they look like. And I'm super excited for this update, There's gonna I'm gonna do a video on it uh, in the future. Uh, as I did with the 1.17 update, but I'm I'm getting too far ahead without even starting my, the actual video. So yeah, as always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss any other videos. And if um if you have any suggestions for mods in the future, be for Java or for Bedrock, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. And without keeping you waiting any longer, let's get on with today's video. Sorry for the long intro, I was just really excited about the caves thing. But yeah, Naruto Craft, new update. So, we have this, which is a Gedomazo. 
we have this, which is the Baryon mode. They basically added a bunch of tailed beast stuff. As you can see, there's all of these mantles, which, as you know, in these mods means like the modes. So we have no, not not the modes, the cloaks. There we go. I think that's it. It's not that a very big content update mod, but it. I mean, it's still it's still an update, so we'll do it. Uh, this is the Ghetto Mazo. As you can see, we have this statue. Uh, very well modeled, very well textured. I like the change e e chains, even though they're not 3D. Uh, it doesn't really matter. They look pretty cool still. Let me put that here together with the other Kurama modes. I'll put that there. And we'll put the Shukaku thing first. So yeah. Getting into the actual modes, we have the Shukaku mode right here. I really like this Shukaku mode. It looks really cool. Uh, it's probably one of the best ones that we've had in mods so far. Uh, but yeah, I really like the Shukaku mode. And then we have the six, t uh, the seven tails mode, which you look more like a dragon than a beetle, which is what you're supposed to look like. You have like bone wings and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. Uh, then we have four tails. This is the four tails mode. Uh, as you can see, they all look pretty much the same because they're the blood version of the modes. For example, this, the four tails, and the eight tails right here don't really look that much different. Just the eight tails has the skull on your arm and has more tails and horns. But apart from that, then we have the three tails mode, which I really like the three tails mode. It has like all these little spots on it. Uh, the tails also have all the little spots and your head has like uh, the, the the armor thingy that the three tails also has. I don't know why they put these horns on it because the three tails doesn't have uh, any type of horns on it but it doesn't really matter. It looks much better like that. Uh, then we have the five tails mode which is like this which looks almost identical to the four tails. But instead it has one more tail in the middle and then we have the two tails mode which looks like this which is the two tails is my favorite tail piece so yeah we have that uh as i said it's a pretty small content update i don't think we have anything more actually oh wait did i take that i think i did did i wait no i don't forget it um here, this is the oh no, this is the this is the six tails mode, and the other one was the five tails mode. I'm sorry. Uh, so as you can see, this the six this the six tails mode, which is a slug mode. I don't know why they have all these bones on it if it's a slug, but oh well. Um, yeah, we'll take that off. And then we have the uh. Incomplete Rikudo mode, complete Rikudo mode, Rina Sharingan, uh, incomplete Kurama mode, in a complete Kurama mode, 6 path stage mode, and Baryon mode. So, first we'll go with this. This is the Obito mode before he gets full control. As you can see, we have all these spikes. We have some really cool textures on the back as well. And then we have the complete Rikudo mode, which is like this. I really like the six, the six paths orbs in this mod because they have like a glowing outline as well, transparent glowing outline. And I I like this mod. It has all these this stuff on it. They look like scales kind of. Uh, the Rina Sharingan is Madara's like Rina Sharingan mode. Looks almost identical to Obito's except for the the robes we have on. And then we have the incomplete Kurama mode, which looks like this. The complete Kurama mode, which looks like this. The six path stage mode, which looks really cool. I really like what the, how the six path stage mode looks. Um, it's probably the best mode in this mod. And then finally we have the Baryon mode. Which looks like this, although they forgot to add the the ears onto it. I think it looks pretty cool. I like when I like that the tails are so big behind you. 
so they're so long and big that I really like that. I don't know why it's red. Some mods make it red, some mods make it orange. Uh, I don't know what that's about. If you could explain in the description, uh, please do. Because I remember Naruto Storm had a red one and a, a orange one. And the red one said it was like the definitive Kurama mode. And then the orange one was the normal one. Um, if any of you have read the manga, because I haven't, um, please tell me down below. Well, leave a comment saying if there's any difference or is it just like a texture change. But yeah, that's everything new for this update of the Naruto Craft mod. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed. I am very excited for the caves and cliffs update. I don't know if we can see some of the new mountains yet. Oh look, there's a ruined nether portal. So no, we, there's no, there's none of the mountains, but we did come across that giant cave. And all of the caves are going to be like that. And as you saw, the, di the diamond spawning system. Oh, sharpness one and efficiency two, okay. Uh, the diamond spawning system has been, like, uh, buffed because it was nerfed before. Oh look, emeralds are already started started spawning on the on the mountains uh, because now emeralds spawn on mountains and not underground generally but yeah so remember in the 1.17 thing it was so hard to find diamonds but now i think they fixed it and if you saw in my like mini flying through caves montage they were there was a bunch of diamonds down below but yeah I'm going to end the video in here because this place is really cool. And yeah, hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Darius.